Have you been catching wind of the celestial showdown brewing between SpaceX, the brainchild of Elon Musk, and famous Blue Origin? Well, if you have, you've likely wondered who stands supreme in the ever-expanding territory of space exploration. But wait, why are these two even competing? Well, it all began when Bezos launched an ambitious plan to revolutionize global internet connectivity and challenge Musk's Starlink project. And even though it's evident that despite significant investment, Blue Origin has not even come close to achieving what SpaceX has. Bezos is not the one to back down easily. So, will Bezos' visionary satellite technology plans give SpaceX a run for its money? Or will SpaceX continue its dominance in the space race? Let's find out. In recent years, there's been a noticeable surge in efforts by companies to improve global internet access using cutting-edge satellite technology. This initiative isn't just a lucrative commercial venture, it's also a vital means of providing internet connectivity to remote regions that have long struggled with limited access. Leading this charge is SpaceX's groundbreaking project, Starlink, which powers an impressive constellation of over 4,000 satellites crafted by Elon Musk's pioneering aerospace company. Yet, in the ever-evolving industry of space technology, competition is the driving force, and Jeff Bezos, the visionary founder of Amazon and owner of Blue Origin, is determined not to let SpaceX dominate the celestial sphere unchallenged. His ambitious vision, known as Project Kuiper, ventures into low Earth orbit and directly competes with Elon's Starlink. Amazon's most recent step in their mission to compete with SpaceX involves the construction of a state-of-the-art satellite processing facility situated at NASA's iconic Kennedy Space Center. This effort comes with a substantial price tag of $120 million and will repurpose a former space shuttle landing strip as the facility's foundation. Once completed, this facility will provide Amazon with the infrastructure needed to seamlessly integrate its satellites with the rockets it has acquired for this venture. Project Kuiper is a vital component of Amazon's overarching mission to bring internet connectivity to every corner of the globe. Their ambitions are grand, with plans to launch an impressive 3,236 Kuiper satellites by 2029. While this ambition is commendable, it's essential to maintain a healthy dose of skepticism, as the promises made in the realm of space technology often differ from the realities of execution. Currently, Amazon's Project Kuiper lags behind SpaceX's Starlink in terms of progress. The Starlink broadband satellite network has already collected a substantial user base, with over 1.5 million global subscribers, giving it a four-year head start over Project Kuiper. Closing this substantial gap and catching up to the established Starlink network Work presents a significant challenge for Amazon. It's crucial to recognize Amazon's achievements so far, as taking on such a colossal endeavor requires immense resources. In 2019, Amazon introduced Project Kuiper, coinciding with SpaceX's launch of Starlink. This resulted in Elon Musk publicly labeling Jeff Bezos, who was then Amazon's CEO, as a copycat, highlighting the vast resources needed to compete with industry giants like Elon Musk, the driving force behind both both SpaceX and Tesla. Amazon strategically secured an undisclosed but estimated astronomical sum exceeding $10 billion for global rocket launch capacity, solidifying their commitment to making Project Kuiper a reality and a strong competitor in the commercial launch industry. Amazon has boldly entered the satellite technology arena, sealing multi-billion dollar contracts with esteemed aerospace heavyweights such as United Launch Alliance or ULA, Blue Origin, and Ariane space in Europe. These monumental agreements signify Amazon's unwavering commitment to its brainchild, Project Kuiper. This ambitious initiative aims to undertake an impressive 92 satellite launches over the next five years, with a goal of reshaping how we connect to the internet. Yet, Amazon faces a huge challenge that could cast a shadow over its aspirations the clear absence of rockets in its arsenal. This places Amazon in a precarious position compared to its solid rival, SpaceX, armed with a battle-tested Falcon 9 rocket. The Falcon 9 not only highlights competitive pricing, but also an astonishing launch frequency, capable of taking off up to 100 times a year, thanks to SpaceX's groundbreaking reusability technology. This innovation, allowing rockets to be reused multiple times, has the potential to significantly 
significantly reduce the cost per launch to as low as $30 million. So, as we watch these two giants, Blue Origin and SpaceX, compete in the dynamic space industry, it's a thrilling and uncertain race. Bezos' ambitious Project Kuiper may have the vision, but SpaceX's Starlink has the head start and proven technology. The future of global internet connectivity is at stake, and only time will tell which company will emerge. Currently, all three rockets contracted by Amazon face their share of uncertainties. None of them have successfully completed a flight, making it seem like a rookie entering a race against a seasoned champion like SpaceX. Take for instance ULA's Vulcan Centaur rocket, which was supposed to launch two prototype Project Kuiper satellites in May, but faced technical complications, delaying the launch to later in 2023. Similarly, Amazon's first Project Kuiper flight on the Ariane 6 rocket is tentatively scheduled scheduled for the upcoming summer season. However, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, despite its potential, appears to be at least two years away from its first journey, despite previous delays. In the face of these challenges, Amazon remains steadfast and encouraged. They are forging ahead with their plans, aiming to kickstart satellite production at their Kirkland, Washington facility by year's end. Their vision includes production launches and early customer trials in 2024, a testament to their determination. Steve Medair, Kuiper's Vice President of Production Operations, exudes confidence in their ambitious strategy, highlighting the crucial role the new facility will play in meeting their strict timeline. Amazon's aspirations extend beyond rocket launches. They aim to establish a solid satellite production process quickly transition into active service, inviting early enterprise customers to join their vision. The path ahead may be challenging, but Amazon's resolve to see Project Kuiper through remains unwavering. In this developing cosmic world, Amazon's success hinges on establishing a competitive foothold in the space race, which requires a significant investment of time and resources. Their ambitions for rocket launches are audacious, aiming for a future where their rockets fly frequently and successfully not just for Project Kuiper, but for all their missions. One outstanding rocket in their strategy is the Ariane 6, initially designed for six to nine launches annually. However, the absence of the Soyuz vehicle for European satellite launches has increased demand for Ariane 6. Adapting this rocket to accommodate Amazon's goal of three or more missions each year remains a question mark. Amazon's significant investment in launch providers has positioned them well in the Western launch market. SpaceX's Falcon 9 with Jeff Bezos' substantial financial backing, challenges established players like Oriol Space and United Launch Alliance. In the coming years, we'll witness these companies working hard to launch their new rockets and achieve high launch rates. Still, it's reasonable to expect that not all three companies, Amazon, Blue Origin, and Oriol Space, will effortlessly attain their ambitious goals. The competition will undoubtedly be one of its kind, and only time will reveal the ultimate victor in this thrill space race. Presently, SpaceX stands as a strong frontrunner, having successfully launched nearly 4,500 Starlink satellites with plans to expand to an astonishing 12,000. These satellites, categorized as Starlink Gen 1, Gen 1.5, and Gen 2, cater to various requirements, from orbit distance to bandwidth capabilities. But here's where it gets even more interesting. SpaceX is seeking approval to expand its mega constellation to a staggering 42,000 giant satellites aiming to dominate the skies with their internet service. However, it's not just Amazon and SpaceX in this cosmic showdown. Other players like OneWeb and various governments, including China, Canada, Germany, and the European Union, have their own satellite deployment plans, adding more competition to the mix. The evolution of internet services is ready for further progress, leading to heightened competition within the satellite industry. However, Amazon is at a crucial moment. Before they can advance further with Project Kuiper, they must overcome the readiness challenges of their contracted rockets. Closing the gap with SpaceX and establishing a competitive stance is a complex journey requiring time and resources. 
In conclusion, the epic clash between Blue Origin's Project Kuiper and SpaceX's Starlink is a fascinating competition that will shape the future of satellite-based internet services. Both companies are driven by high ambitions, and the ultimate victor in this cosmic contest remains a tempting mystery waiting to be uncovered. So, do you think Blue Origin has the potential to beat Elon Musk's SpaceX in its own game? Let's hear you in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and be the first one to know what's happening in space. Till the next video, stay safe.